Local communities celebrated the 50th anniversary of Barkley Dam during a ceremony at the Badgett Playhouse Theater in Grand Rivers, Kentucky, August 20, 2016. And for 50 years now, 365 days a year, about 1,600 government, commercial, and recreational lockages every year is what Barkley Lock facilitates. And what that means is 3.9 million tons of cargo that move into and out of the heart of this country. This includes coal that makes the electricity that charges your iPhones, rock and asphalt that builds the roads, many of them which that you drove in on day, and agricultural commodities that feed us and the world. While the Barclay Project does have incredible benefits, it certainly was not without cost. Two cities, numerous landowners, residents, business owners, and a lot of memories were uprooted and forced to move as a result of Lake Barkley. There is a lot of history under the surface of the lake, and these fellow citizens, some of you I know I've met one already in the room who was here at the ceremony, paid a high price to provide the benefits that uh, we all enjoy today. And I'd like to take a special opportunity just to say on behalf of the Corps of Engineers, thank you. A sitting Kentucky Supreme Court justice with close family ties to the Corps of Engineers and who was personally relocated from his home when the Corps impounded Barkley Lake celebrated the dam but drew appropriate attention to the Kentuckians that struggled for progress during the construction of Barkley Dam. I'm one of thousands of people along the valley, Eddyville and Catal, land between the rivers of people who have been dislocated because of, of this major project. This structure we celebrate today did not come to the ensuing generations without a tremendous toll upon human lives and emotions. Their tremendous sacrifice of giving up their cherished homelands has largely gone unnoticed and unappreciated. No marbled monuments nor bronze statues memorialize their contributions made at great cost. We'd be ungrateful people here today if, as, as we celebrate, and we should be celebrating, not to also commemorate and remember those citizens of Kentucky and Tennessee who made the sacrifice of their homes and their communities for the benefit of those who enjoy the blessings of this dam and this lake. A Kentucky Court of Appeals judge who lectures on local history talked about the great reputation of Albin Barkley, the 35th Vice President of the United States, and namesake of Barclay Dam. Uh, Fifty years ago, sitting Vice President Hubert H. Humphrey arrived in Grand Rivers to dedicate Barclay Lock and Dam together with the resulting Barclay Lake and Barclay Canal in honor of his close personal friend and political mentor, the former Vice President Albin W. Barclay. From his Grand Rivers pulpit, Humphrey called Barclay a prophet a man of peace, a man of courage, vision, and principle. And after concluding his comments, Humphrey conducted a ceremony which he termed the wedding of the waters. He first symbolically poured a vial of water taken from Lake Barkley, and then a vial of water from Kentucky Lake and poured them into a single larger container. He then christened the Barkley Lock and dammed by sprinkling those mixed waters over that new facility. A symbol of progress and hope in western Kentucky, the dam provides flood risk reduction, hydroelectric power, navigation, recreation, and other economic benefits to the region. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the Nashville District in Grand Rivers, Kentucky on the 50th anniversary of Barkley Dam.